Hey guys, what's up? My name is Josh. If you're just joining the channel, in this episode, I'm going to show you up close, all the way around, this old excavator that I purchased. 18 tons is what I've been told. It's really old. Hopefully, it hangs in there, but I want to go around and just tell you what I know about it. And hopefully, it fires right up. After that, I'm going to take down a tree that's sitting right in front of it. It's going to be good. So, let's get to it. <laughs> It feels like spring out here after last weekend with the sub-zero attempts. So I think, like I said, today I just want to kind of take down this last tree, stay out of the mud, and have to worry about freezes again. Couple half inch wrenches here. Up. I think it makes sense to just kind of go ahead and do a walk around why it's not running. This uh, Detroit diesel, it's uh, on the noisy side. Okay, so in the last video, I mentioned the PH when I talked about the, the whole runway project, kind of as a whole, the game plan, and walked all the way from the front all the way to the back, the property line there. If you want to check that out you can kind of see the full picture but uh right now this is a like i said a pnh it's the manufacturer and it's around an 18 ton unit from what i can see from the markings on it okay so here's another look at the whole unit kind of from this side i'll show you the back here real quick we'll get to that in a minute we'll open up the back and look at the engine compartment and the two sides in the back there but let's go ahead and start up in the cab, show you what the markings it has, kind of go over the controls. All right, so again, in the last video I mentioned the seat's pretty bad shape. Um, it basically is. So I have a new seat, I'm gonna put that in, and I believe it'll bolt up, but let's take a look at these markings here on the side. It says model H312. So it basically gives you the pound, and the uh, the lifting capacities for the uh, different reaches and heights the bucket an h312 i believe last time i or the first time i looked it up when i was finding some information it was around an 18 ton unit let me know if i'm way off or uh, anything you might know about an h312 all right so these gauges right here this combo um, none of those work I believe this right here might be another temperature for redundancy and it doesn't work. Maybe I should add a temperature. I know that's definitely something to uh, keep an eye on. Obviously the oil level, but as far as running hot, that's something we want to keep an eye on. I'm not sure these Detroit diesels, how hot they typically run. This right here probably needs to be done pretty soon because every time it rains and snows it's just going to get everything wet. So basically there's one window in it here. It's probably the one that would be nice not to have there so I can see everything. But um, some nice mold growing up here, fungus. So obviously somebody had a tree, limb, something come in and damaged this cab here pretty good. Here's the levers. This right here basically uh, swings left to right the whole unit. And these right here track, the two tracks forward and backwards. And this right here lifts the whole, I guess maybe that's the boom. So this right here, if that's correct, this right here would move the boom. And this right here basically brings um, the stick in and out. And then this right here will move the bucket, curls the back bucket open and close. 
Um, this is obviously looks like a brake. I don't use it. It probably doesn't work. And um, if anyone does know anything about these units, if you could kind of fill me in on exactly what this right here does. Um, I was told from the previous owner he didn't move it. He just kind of stayed there and he had it for 20 some years. So maybe it's not that important, but maybe it could actually do some good. Okay, so this right here is the fuel tank. And let me walk around and we'll take a look at the engine compartment closer. Uh -oh, it looks like there might be a hydraulic leak. It's not good. So I've had three of the four cylinders for this whole machine have been redone, overhauled, new seals, been reworked, pressure tested, and I've changed, I think, three hoses all together. And I was hoping that this guy right here would make it at least through the winter and didn't have to mess with it back here but um, it's kind of concerning so after a deep freeze I know that's what happened to these there was some water that apparently was in the seals and um, yeah I really hope I don't have to take the cylinder off before I even really make much ground so let's continue walking around this unit machine let's talk about it before I fire it up and then uh, We'll make sure this thing isn't leaking too terribly. I can live with a little bit of leak, especially right now, but um, the other ones were not a little leak. So we'll get back to that in a minute. Okay, we'll go ahead and take a look at the tracks here up close. I mentioned I'll show you up close. I like up close views as if you're here and you can kind of see it yourself. A nice plant growing there. We'll just kind of work our way around here. The sprockets don't look too terrible, really. Um, I've seen a lot worse. <clears throat> okay, we'll open up this one of the sides here. This is where the radiator is. Looks like we're holding a decent amount of water. I don't know if there's a drain. I'm sure there's a drain back here. Probably just needs unplugged. I don't like that. Kind of still see Detroit diesel there on the side. And I was told this was a two cycle Pretty new to me, I had actually heard of a big engine like this that was two cycle. Got a little bit of moss growing back here. All right, let's open up the back here, check out the back of the engine compartment. It's definitely dirty. Dirty and greasy, oily. Check the oil for today. It's about halfway on the stick. We probably should add add some to that soon. Some regulator there. Belts are definitely looking pretty old. This is not an airplane, so I will say I'm not doing too much preventive maintenance on this old machine. Basically just gonna use it. Um, but if I see something that's pretty obvious that's gonna cause an issue, I'll definitely take care of it. All right, let's work our way around, get this thing fired up here in a minute. Sprockets over here, about the same. Don't look too bad. Um, I was told the bearings on I think this one and maybe the other side, might be this side's the main one. That's it's basically been out. Bruce owner said it was out for the whole time he had it, 20 years, and he just kept using it. So I guess I'm gonna push that luck a little further and 
Hopefully I can still get the job done. All right, let's get up here and check the engine out more. Okay, so this right here is the hydraulic tank over here to the right. And the cap for that. I got a couple five gallon pails on reserve, but I think we're decent level right now. This right here is the hose that I changed when I first got it, or I could even bring it home. Definitely pretty dirty, pretty greasy. Bolts right here like to get loose a lot, so they were actually pretty loose after I used it a little bit. So I'm not sure if I need to add some Loctite to those, but I'll I've gotta keep an eye on these. It's definitely a lot of craziness going on in here lots of old hoses which is kind of hard to tell which one is going to go next but i believe if i run it half throttle and i'm easy with it oh right there it looks pretty bad that's probably going to be a contestant there on deck unfortunately uh, let's take a quick look at this bucket some up close views of that and the teeth and kind of what i got going on there and uh let's fire this thing up teeth right here that has a pin that's supposed to go through there um, these other actually i might have two do i have two okay it looks like i have one there and one there so i have three this has got a quite a bit left on it might even be able to put a pin through it um, these two Maybe that one's okay, but this last one is definitely been off for a while and probably have just enough metal there to weld. So the cylinder right here, it got reworked. Okay, I want to fire this thing up, give it a quick shot of ether. Hopefully it turns right over. Which I think it will, the battery's strong. Okay, fuel pump's on. See if the throttle moves today, should. Nice and warm compared to recently. Okay, and we'll leave it about third crack there or less. And we'll get a shot of ether. Fuel pump just went off, that's not good. See if it fires up anyways. Okay, it's almost a moment of truth. I want to let this run for a few minutes. We'll move this thing and see what the cylinder does. So, so far I don't see any major leaks, so hopefully it's just a small leak over time and we can nurse the cylinder along and start making some more progress. So, I'm going to set the camera up and we're going to take out this tree right here, probably shove this guy right here over a little bit and uh, we'll shove that one kind of towards the runway there, hopefully keep it off the fence out there. got dark on me last night and I thought it'd be better for me and also for you as well to view and see more of what's going on but what I'm going to do is reposition these two trees and go ahead and dig on the other side of the tree get some more of the roots and go ahead and get this thing down and this will get us to 
the next phase here of just kind of cleaning up and repositioning before we move further back. So let's get to it. Okay, so that was pretty awesome. This is definitely the biggest one yet. And um, I'm at the point now I'm ready to start cleaning up, start getting the branches out of here, the logs we need uh, off to the side and uh, get everything kind of leveled out and start fresh and start moving back. So um, if you're still watching, definitely appreciate your time. Hope you've enjoyed this. And if you have any suggestions, drop those in the comments. Until next time, be safe, be blessed. I will see you in the next one. Later.